Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about J pop up menus, um, or otherwise known as context menus. Now, if you don't know what a context menu is, it's uh, essentially, you know, when you right click on something, it brings up this whole bo huge box over here with all these um, menu items. So, uh, we're not going to be using J buttons, we're going to be using the uh, J menu item, um, which is what I set up here. So as you can see, you know, it's the basic uh, GUI setup. So I'm going to show you uh, what I wrote here and explain exactly how I did it. So I have this very blank, you know, panel, but I added a, um, a mouse listener to the, uh, this panel. And so when I right click, it says, say hello. It brings it up, you know, where your uh, mouse pointer is. And now if I click say hello, it's going to say hello there, you know, to show that it actually works. So this is what I did. I created a J menu item and I called it say hello pop-up because that's essentially what it's doing. And that's that say hello button you saw there. And I said, you know, just say hello there when you click the button. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory, but how do I add it to the J pop-up menu? Well, I'm going to be adding it by uh, adding a mouse listener um, to whatever component I want. So I'm going to say that I want the user to right click on the panel and so I'll add a mouse listener to that um, now I just created this component up here that checks whether or not the user uh, uh, left clicked or right clicked on the panel now traditionally like if I just took this away this code away um, I don't need a right click to activate the pop-up box but I set it up so that, yes, it would actually require you to right-click on the object to get those options. So here I created a J pop-up menu, right, and I called it main pop-up, and, and I added the uh, say hello pop-up uh, J menu, which is a J menu item, because this accepts um, J menu items. Um, so, and I also had it so that it actually shows the pop-up menu at the uh, mouse, you know, it's e.getMouse event, so I'm taking from the mouse event up here, and I'm trying to get where uh, the user uh, right clicked, the X and Y coordinates of the mouse position where the right, uh, where the user clicked on the component, and then showing the pop-up menu there. So that's what, uh, that's what I did. <clears throat> so this is uh, essentially this allows me to, you know, add a bunch of a bunch more items that are kind of hidden. So let's say if I wanted to add another one, say, like it allows me to add a lot of components that are like hidden from view. So you have to like right click on the, um, so you have to like right click on components to see the extra menu items. So it makes everything much more clean, and everybody's familiar with uh, context menus. So say bye and so see ya um and then say bye why are you saying bye b u i all right so and then um this also allows me to add as many as i want so um i'm going to add another component that i just created called say bye pop up i'm going to add it there um dot add say bye why are you doing that uh oh, jeez um, right. And so now, if I run the program again, it's going to have two options this time instead of one. Ah, there we go. So, um, it says say hello and say bye and says, says see ya. Um, <clears throat> so which is, what's also nice about this is that the J menu items can retain all of their menu item properties. Like, you know, you can set the little icon for them and everything this just allows you to show the components in a different way other than just having a a, a a j menu bar which i don't know if i talked about but this is just another way <coughs> of showing um uh, menu items if you learned something from this video leave a like if you have any questions about the program put it in the uh, comments below and i'll try to get to it as soon as possible and uh, on top of that, if it's a really interesting question, I might do a response video. If, uh, you know, if you want to see the source code, it's going to be in the, 
description of the video so you can copy and paste that onto your IDE if you don't want to manually type up everything that I uh, that I just put in this video then do it um, so if uh, you really really enjoy this and favorite and possibly subscribe that would really that would really help so uh, until next time <laughs>